welcome back. So today's video is an exciting one. I'm actually going to be testing a full face of new iHot Revolution stuff. They've done a collaboration with ALF. I cannot believe it because ALF is like up there in the Christmas film category. So today I'll be testing out the main palette. This is the Nini Muggins palette. They've got another palette as well, which you've got four choices of palettes in one whole. That is really bad explanation. They basically got another quad of palettes. I also be testing out the fixing spray, the primer, a highlighter and a lip gloss. These are the only items I've brought out of the collection. I could have gone further. I really wanted the bath stuff but I couldn't afford everything so I just wanted to test out the items that you can use for your whole face. So that is today. I cannot wait. I am super stoked with the packaging. It's just, it's just bang on. But I want to know if the actual quality matches up to the packaging because we've had some issues with the collapse. Like the usually the packaging's a lot better than the actual quality. <laughs> Princesses. So if you're excited to see what this collaboration is all about, how it's going to perform, what's the quality like, is it going to be good? Then make sure you carry on watching. Hit subscribe. I'll probably do another look for using this palette as well um, in an upcoming video. So if you want more looks. Stay around. Let's see what this collection's all about. I am so ridiculously excited for this collection. So, there was a lot to this collection. You got brushes, there was bath stuff. I wish I brought some bath stuff because that was just cute AF. Like, the bath stuff, I really, really want. I'm gonna wait till Black Friday for that. Um, there was also a lip trio set. There were eye glisten liquid eyeshadows they had um they've got a lip scrub and a lip balm duo they even had like collection packs where you could save a bit of your money if you brought like a bundle which was a good idea um what else did they have bath fizzes bath bomb situation um lip gloss trio i'm happy you know what i don't know how they do it i don't know how they pull these collabs you know they are fire collabs, um, so different, very um, eye-catching, like it does bring the customer's attention I'd say because it's ALF, come on. I'm going to admit ALF wasn't my favourite Christmas film, I probably will offend so many people right now. My ultimate favourite Christmas film is definitely The Santa Claus Is or Home Alone, like that gets my heart. I still like ALF but it's not like, I don't I'm like obsessed with it. Like I don't have to watch it every single year. I can like not watch it every year, do you know what I mean? Right, so I'm gonna start off with this primer. Mm, so cute. So what can we say about this primer? This primer is 10 pounds. Now I was looking at the prices of these products and I think it's because it is a collaboration like with e.l.f. I feel like the prices are gonna be super high, like in comparison to the typical I Heart Revolution price standpoint. You get 20 mil inside. Let's take a look at it. Um, so, oh, this, I just love this packaging. It's so blooming cute. Look at that. How adorable. But yeah, like I said, this is 10 pound. So what's so interesting about this? So this e.l.f. primer, you can create the ultimate festive glow with this fragrance-free illuminating primer formulated with a subtle shimmer to give a natural luminous glow, which increases the longevity of your makeup suitable for all skin tones. It also gives us a tip as well. You can mix this with liquid foundation to add a subtle luminosity. You can wear as a primer to lift your base makeup or you could even wear this alone on bare skin for a natural healthy looking glow. So I like how you can wear this in multiple ways. For me, I just personally like to wear primers just before my foundation. So I'm going to pop this on now. It's fragrance free, but I hear the fixing spray has got like a vanilla sandwich. which I'm all over it. I've done about two and a half pumps. It's like it. Ooh. I don't know why I smelt it, it's no fragrance, but it is a thick consistency. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's got like a neutral tone, base tone to it. So let's give it a go. It's weird not having a scented primers. I'm used to having like a primers with a bit of a scent. But let's see how luminous this is. Now I think it did say in the brief that it's got like 
shimmer particles was it? I have a mirror right in front of me and from this distance I don't see any particles but I do definitely see a glow. It's formulated with subtle shimmer. So apparently this has got shimmer, so let's uh, get up close. I mean, yeah, the particles, shimmer, whatever you want to call it, you can't really tell, but you can definitely tell there's a glow to my face. So I can rate that. But yeah, it feels nice, it doesn't feel greasy. It feels like it's dried into the skin quite quickly. Um, it just feels smooth. Yeah, it's very smooth like. I really apologize about the works that are going on outside and um, some people just can't help themselves, but I've just got to get through this. So I'm a cotton headed ninny muggins. I'm not going to lie. I don't even know what that bloody means. I've seen elf once. I'm not a true representation of an, of an elf fan. Um, I'm just not with it, but I absolutely adore this packaging. Whether I've seen elf or not, I really dig it. So yeah. So this is the front cover. I like that the cover matches the actual palette. This palette, now, it's £15. So it's the same price as the Disney Princesses. But what I was most surprised about, the pictures are very deceiving. Like, no, I wouldn't say deceiving because there was no comparison to compare it to another object. But this is so small. <laughs> I don't know why I thought when I was purchasing this, I don't know why I thought in my head that this was gonna be a big palette, but it's actually quite small, um, which I actually don't mind. Um, so the pans itself, they're quite diddy. I'd say they're the, probably the same size as my thumb. I don't know why I thought in my head, I think it might be in the pictures, made it look a lot bigger than it actually was, but this is such a cute color story. Um, not gonna lie, when I first glanced at this, it kind of reminded me a lot of the um, chocolate palette from the Chocolate Vault tin. I'll try to put a picture comparison here. Uh, hopefully you can see what I can see. Uh, I don't know why I thought of the chocolate palette, but does this scream ALF to you? I've only seen ALF once. I can really appreciate this claw story, but does it scream ALF? I was hoping there was gonna be a, a bright red in here, but would that work with the other colors? So do let me know your opinions because I'm interested to see everyone's thoughts. Beauty Bay eyeshadow base. I have no idea what kind of look to do. I've seen a couple of people's videos already. They've done um, colourful looks. Maybe I need to swatch it first, get a feel of it. So let's just see the swatches. So here are the first three swatches. Now what I've gathered so far, a lot of these shades do need another coat to get the pigment. It's quite a lot of mix mix match in the formulation some of the shimmers worked greater than others um however this purple shimmer worked really nice um some of the other shimmers were a bit lackluster not as smooth onto the skin you've got to properly dig into the pan and then rub onto the skin um yeah i don't know how other way to describe it let me just say there's been better s palettes swatched from this brand so yeah, I don't want to force it too much because I absolutely love this colour story. It's cute as hell. Here are the last two rows. Um, yeah, my thoughts are still the same. Um, I still have no idea what look to do. Hmm. Right, so I'm going to push the boat out a bit. I'm going to go in this teal green. I was going to do a neutral look, but I'm in the mood to try out some colour. So maybe I'll leave the neutral look for another video, but for some reason my eye is gazing over here with this teal colour. I'm just going to put this hmm, on the little corner for now. Now that packs on very nice, that does. See, swatches are not everything. They're not everything. But application I like not wrong with that I'm gonna try to blend that out with this blue here I don't know if that will work but we'll see just looking out now I wish there was like a black in here just a bit of depth in this palette I'd really en enjoy Okay, so what shall we do now? Hmm. I was thinking of actually going into a, a yellow with this. Let's brighten it up a bit. Mm. Ooh, 
shall we go with that shimmer there? Right, I'm just going to take my finger for this. I'm just going to press this shimmer just onto the middle lid. Just see what it looks like. Yeah. Nothing amazing about it, but it looks nice. So, I feel like I want to go over yellow. Don't know if this is going to work. Should we say? Right, let's get this yellow. Um, I'm going to put this yellow on the inner corner of it. Yeah, that could work because the yellow and the blue mixed together makes a little bit of a green situation. Makes this green. Kind of. I don't know. And this is what happens when you go over the flow. Um, hmm. You know what? What the hell? I'm going to go over this green down here. Um, just put a bit in between the blue and the yellow. Because so I think that green could look nice with the blue. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into this teal blue, is it? Greeny blue. And I'm just gonna add that to the lower lash line. I wish there was a matte green in here. That could work nice. I'm also gonna go over um, yellow to fill that space. You know what, considering those swatches, these shadows actually applied on fine i'm just gonna say fine because i have tried better palettes from him but i'm actually preferring this over the princesses like formula wise swatches don't bother swatching it because i feel like the actual application of the shadows works works a lot better than swatching it i don't know sometimes swatches just don't do anything it's nice just to look at what the colors look like on skin tone but I'm actually happy with that. What the hell? I just wish there was something dark in here to add a bit of like darkness on that corner. But we're just going to stick with light today. So for the inner corner, I think I'm going into this white. Ooh, that is bright. Frosty. Very wintry. I like that. Frosty white. And for the brow bone, do I stick with the white again? Well, we've done it now, so. Yeah, I'm happy there's a frost white in here. Uh, that could be useful to do different colors. But yeah, just looking out, yeah, there's quite a lot of colors to go down. You can do a purple look, a pink look, a brown gold look, peach look, blue look, green look earthy look, neutral look. So there is a variety of options to go with this palette, which I do like. I think it's looking good so far. Hmm. Okay, so I am just going to repeat on the other eye and then we can come back, test out this highlighter, this lip gloss and the fixing spray. I am very excited. So both eyeshadow done. That was actually quite pleasantly surprising. I actually thoroughly enjoyed doing my makeup then. I didn't find it was too much of a struggle. So let's try out this fixing spray. So this fixing spray is six pounds. I'd say that's a all right amount. You get 50 mil, so your typical size. Um, what does it say about this then? This is featuring a gorgeous festive vanilla scent. Yes. My favourite scent is vanilla, if you haven't guessed. This fixing spray helps to not only set your face in place, but give you a gorgeous and subtle glow. Mmm. Long stay fixing spray. I feel like you can use fixing spray in any parts of your makeup routine. Like, you don't have to have it as a last step, I don't think. I'm going to put it on now anyway, so hopefully it can really work for that highlighter that we'll try. But yeah, really like this packaging. Um, I cannot wait to smell it. So it's got a it's got North Pole on it, cute. Okay. Mmm. I like the smell. I like the smell. Right, let's spray. Mmm. 
girls. I really like that. It's dispensed the squirt, you know? <laughs> it's dispensed the liquid quite well. I've had some, some fixing sprays, I've had, you can see dots on the face. It hasn't left any smear marks or anything. Um, it's a nice mister. It's not too heavy. Um, yeah, I rate that. I really do like the fixing sprays that iHeart Revolution got at the minute. Uh, I've been enjoying the cranberry one from the vault tin. But now I don't need to buy another one because I've got this. Right, on to this highlighter. So, so the highlighter I chose was in the shade Jovi. They did have three shades. I believe Jovi was best suited for fair skin complexions. I think it was a more pink hue to it. I can't remember. Let me just read it. So this is called the Christmas Cheer Highlighter. It's eight pounds. So I, I like to compare the prices to their other collabs. So. The princess highlighter was eight pound as well but yeah you get three shades so the one that i've got is shimmering rose gold buddy is shimmering gold papa alf is shimmering bronze so mine's shimmering rose i do like a rose highlight oh teeth i hate it when they make it so bloody difficult to get in so this is what it's looking like and yes, it opens up like it's like it does in the previous ones. So it says the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. Oh, that's an interesting um, image. I don't really know what this image is. You're gonna have to tell me in the comments. Educate me. So this is what it looks like. I actually don't know what that is. Is it a clock? Yeah, it feels quite similar to their previous collab highlighters, the princesses ones. So this is Jovi. That is Jovi, quite on the powdery side. Um, but let's just see how it applies on. Yeah, it's quite kickbacky as well. Quite icy. I don't know if it's too icy for me. It's quite nice though. Yeah, that is nice. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it does the job. I wouldn't say it's got a rose hue either. I can't really see the rose hue. Maybe it's just these lights in front of me making it hard to see. Um, I probably have to look at natural lighting, but I do like how it shows there. Yeah, it's a nice highlighter. I'm just gonna say nice. I'm not in love with it. Well, I would say it does what it needs to do. You see a slight hint of rose, but I wouldn't say it's very rosy. It's quite, I'd say icy, frosty. Okay, now onto the lip gloss. Now, I'm very shocked. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this big. I did not expect it to be this big now. So this is, what are you? So this lip gloss costs eight pounds. There's three shades. So I've got Jack in the Box, which is more of a berry red. There was a shade called Best Coffee, which was a chocolate nude. And there was a shade called Cheer, which is in hot pink. I just thought, I don't really think this look through. I don't think this is gonna go with the eyeshadow, but we're here to try all the individual products. So I really like this funky packaging. I love the stripes. I thought it's very unique, very Christmassy, very different I heart, from my heart revolution. Does it have a scent? Well, that's quite hard to get out. Ooh, mmm, berry. Mmm, that smells yummy. This is called the Candy Cane Lip Gloss. Drench your pout with these oh so tasty, tasty, lip glosses inspired by iconic elf moments. These candy cane twisted glosses feature a blend of both matte and shimmer formulas to create one unique finish. Interesting. Do I have a lip liner? No. Um, I'm just gonna see how it applies without lip liner. Oh, that's comfy. Mmm. Does it taste nice? 
I've got a feeling it's got like a, a taste to it. What the hell? I don't know if I'm tripping, but, or if it's a placebo, but I can definitely taste something. Hmm. Smells incredible. You definitely need a lip gloss, uh, lip gloss? You definitely need a lip liner with this um, because it is quite messy to apply, but it's bloody gorgeous. That is a gorgeous shade, what the hell? Mmm, wow, I'm impressed. Comfy, doesn't feel too thick on the lips. I like, I like a lot, what the hell? And I think it tastes good too. I would advise not to eat this, but my God, I'm not, I'm not tasting things. I swear that can taste something. I can taste something. Please let me know if you got this. Can you taste something or is it just me pretending? Because I can definitely taste something. I would happily get another shade in this. I really like this. I feel like I'm ready to go to a Christmas market right now. I'm just gonna go away, pop some lashes on and I can come back and discuss my final thoughts on this collection. I'm happy. I'm a happy bunny. So here's the complete look using the e.l.f. collection. Uh, please ignore the lash. I, I've lost the other eyelash to the other eyelash and same on the other side. So these are completely different eyelashes. They're not twins. So from a price point of view, I don't think £15 matches up to the quality of this eyeshadow. I feel like it is expensive, but then you've got to look at it in a way, boy, it's e.l.f. Of course, it's going to be a bit pricier than their typical eyeshadow palette. So I'll give them that. Absolute, what is this? <laughs> The packaging, 10 out of 10, absolutely love it. I'm not a huge Crazy Elf fan, but I can really appreciate this packaging. And this would be such a cute gift for someone. If they are mad elf, this would be the perfect gift for someone. Color story is absolutely beautiful. The only thing I'd say is maybe swap out some of the similar, similar shades. Maybe these two are quite similar, this pinky purple. I don't know, maybe put a bit of darkness in this palette. Maybe put more depth in this palette but then again i'm just trying to weigh out the pros and cons here pros you've got a lot of versatility of what color eyeshadow looks to do like i said you can do pink blue purple brown neutral peach yellow wherever you want orange is there so i love that there's different avenues to go down um so that's the palette the only con it is pricey but then again christmas it is pricey so this highlighter i'd probably say the highlighter is my least favorite thing out of this collection i just wasn't wowed by it the jovi um i feel like jovi is too light is that is that an actual thing is having a light highlighter be too light in the first person i don't know but then again i feel like the the above shade for this was it buddy i think that'll be too too dark for me i don't know i need to watch someone else's video i think alex tried out buddy but it did leave a cast so yeah highlighter is not for me eight pounds same price as the princesses um it's nothing wowing it's a bit on the powdery side but it's a lot better than the beauty and the beast highlighter fixing spray and primer now there's not a lot to say about this primer 10 pounds is it 10 pounds can't remember 10 pounds if it is is a lot of money for this primer it's unscented so it doesn't have a scent fragrance free but i do like how quick drying it was it it didn't leave a greasy feel to my skin it made my skin feel smooth so i like that aspect of it packaging 10 out of 10 uh, again a cute gift idea i can't really fault it it did give a nice glow the only thing i'd say it did mention on the website there was shimmer particles. I did not see any shimmer particles. But then again, would you want shimmer particles? Yeah, it's a nice primer. I'm just going to say nice for now. Fixing spray. Really like this. I feel like the vanilla is the hot spot for this. Uh, just because I'm mad on vanilla scented stuff. Um, yeah, I really like it. I thought it draw everything in. It pulls all the makeup together. Um, I don't know if fixing sprays are placebos. But I'm here for them. I like them. It's got a nice mister. It's not too... Um, not too frisky mister. It's quite nice. Let's spray it again. Mm, yes, I can't get enough of that scent. It's a really nice scent. Uh, long stay, apparently. Um, I'm here for it. Yes. And we're onto this lipstick, Jack in a Box lip gloss. 
Do I dare to say this is my favorite thing out of the whole collection? Eight pounds, you get a lot. It is a big boy and I absolutely love it. The only thing I'd say, word of warning, is that my teeth? Word of warning, do wear lip liner because when I went off camera, I did notice it did bleed a bit on the Cupid's bow, but it should help if you wear lip liner. It's because it's such a dark color in contrast with your natural lip color. You wanna wear lip liner, it will, save the mess you could even tidy it up a bit around the edges of concealer i did do that a bit but i still feel like a lip liner is needed with this lip gloss no biggie it is in a beautiful color this berry red color i absolutely love this packaging i'm gonna say that for everything they have nailed it on the packaging and yeah if i have to say if you want to get anything out of this collection definitely get the lip gloss really enjoyed it but then again the palette was nice too the palette did work a lot better than the swatches i thought this oh, I thought something was bad then um i thought the swatches did let me down but at the end of the day it's not all about the swatches it's how it performs on your eyes and i think the palette performed wonderful on my eyes i thought the blue was pigmented enough i thought that teal green was absolutely gorgeous i was really surprised about that there was pigment in that shade. This teal greeny blue, I'm happy with that. I cannot wait to try out this palette again. I want to do more of a neutral look. I did say that. That's what I normally wear day to day anyway. So yeah, do let me know if you want a part two on this palette. I'm happy to do that. Do let me know what you think of this collection down below in the comments. Will you be getting it? Will you be gifting it to someone? Like I said, I think it'd be a great gift for someone for Christmas. Hopefully on Black Friday, these will be discounted because that will be extra fun. So, yeah, I really want to get some bath stuff. The bath stuff really pulled me in. I wish I got it. If you did like this video, do give it a big thumbs up. It sure helps my channel out. And, of course, if you don't want to miss out on my second look using this palette, then hit the subscribe button down below. But, yeah, other than that, hope you have a lovely day, night, with time watching this, and I shall see you next one.